Right, uh, good afternoon everyone. A new video on the rather uh, crowded crafting table down upstairs instead of downstairs this time. And this video is about this. This is a new to me camera. Um, a friend of mine emailed me and the email said what do you fancy doing a trade and I didn't know what it was so uh, I looked at the pictures that he sent and right away I noticed it was a Nikon F2 camera which I have a camera that I've been looking for. well I've not even been looking I, I would like one but I've, I've not even been looking for one because they're far too expensive for me um, I've got a Nikon F uh, this was the successor to the Nikon F the, these were introduced first in 1971 they went through to 1980 this is a Nikon FAS the last of the F2s and the serial number there tells me that it was in fact made in 1976. So this was made uh, in the very last days of the year before it was actually launched to the public. And these cameras sell for inordinate amounts of money on eBay. Um, you sometimes get the old one that's mint in a box with all the papers. And you can look to up to 1500 2000 US dollars for these things. You get many, many battered versions that have been used by professionals and they're absolutely smashed to bits and dinged and oh, in a terrible state. This particular camera is really in very, very good condition. No dings, bashes, scratches, hardly any, uh, hardly anything in the way of brassing at all. You can see a tiny little bit of brassing there. Um, no, not maybe a little bit there. You can't really, there's not really any brassing in the usual places where it's rubbed against uh, jackets or where the uh, strap has rubbed against the brass here is this is quite often a brass is a tiny little scratch there um, and therefore these cameras in this condition go for anything from 450 to 500 dollars on eBay and that's not including the lens that is just the camera body so uh, when a friend of mine suggested a trade for um, my uh, digital SLR Nikon, the D1X, um, I jumped at the chance. I've not been using the D1X. It's very big and heavy and I, I've only used it really seriously once in the last couple of years. And the other day I was just wondering, you know, what could I do with that thing? And that was the question answered for me. Um, and so now the F2 is mine. Something that I never thought I'd own, to be honest. Lovely camera, works perfectly, by the way. Winds on. Picture takes. The um, DP12 finder works great. That was the last photomic finder that uh, Nikon made, DP12, and the best apparently. And in many people's opinions, especially Nikon collectors, the F2 is the finest mechanical camera ever made by none. And it is a mechanical camera. Springs, um, cogwheels, you name it. 
the uh, it uses two batteries but that's just to power the meter it'll work fine without the meter you don't need the meter camera itself will never let you down because there's no batteries in it at all so as part of the deal he also brought this this was screwed onto it it's uh, a Nikon MD2 motor drive um, and the battery box for it that contains 10 AA batteries so you've got to have um, shares in Duracell to run these things but unfortunately it doesn't work properly it does work but it doesn't work properly it's actually pretty crazy um, I can't I've been in the bottom of it can't really see what I want to see I can't get this top part off because this part here there with those two little holes needs a special kind of wrench to get that off and that won't come off you can't get the top off so it's a little bit disappointing that uh, it won't um, work um, and these things on eBay the battery box and this winder bring eye watering amounts of money as well anything from you know 350 to 400 dollar ridiculous money and uh, I don't think I saw one ad on eBay for any of these that's, that actually stated works perfectly tested so you may well buy one off eBay and get the same as this because uh, apparently they're not known for their reliability so that was a slight disappointment but not to worry the camera still works but also as part of the deal I got this yet another Pentax K1000 um, <clears throat> it's uh, slightly beat up dirty this was also very dirty it needed a heck of a clean um, I have to make sure the batteries turn out batteries will waste if you leave that like that um, took quite some cleaning this had a clean and then I noticed something really weird that SMC Takuma lens um, they never made that lens for the K1000 they were uh, SMC Pentax lenses by this time so I thought I'll take the lens off and have a look and of course this would be a bayonet mount camera because it's the bayonet K mount Pentax K mount so I went to take the lens off and lo and behold it unscrews with a M42 screw mount. The lens is uh, a lovely uh, M42 screw mount lens, beautiful. And also, what, the reason why this does what it does is that it's got an original Pentax K mount to M42 adapter on it. The real McCoy. These bring uh, like 50 to 60 dollars on their own on, on eBay for these adapters, very much sought after. Uh, so that was quite nice. These are always useful, and to have that adapter could come in very useful. I'm going to strip this camera for parts and probably throw the thing away. It's not really worth keeping. I don't know, I might just keep it. But anyway, the F2 beautiful f2 with uh, a nikon series e lens on so the camera was made in about 76 the lens dates from about 1980 or 81 actually well there's not a great deal of uh, time difference between the lens and the camera but it's not the actual lens that would ever have been supplied with this camera these were the e series lens were supplied with the em i've got a few of those well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.